Welcome to the 2019 Real Band New Features Overview. In this video, we will be going over the new features in Real Band 2019, including enhancements to the Tracks window, Notation window, Style Picker, and more. Let's get started. The first thing you may notice when opening up Real Band is the toolbar has a new modern look. If you prefer the classic look, this can be switched in the options menu. Just select your preferred setting under Icon Set. We have added several new features to the notation window. Double clicking on the standard mode notation window now plays the song from the current time location. Previously it played the song from the beginning of the current bar. The right click menu in the editable or staff roll mode now has an option to change the current beat resolution. Previously, the only way to do this was to right click on the timeline. Clicking close to the stave line will put a note on the stave line instead of between the stave lines. Previously, you had to click extremely close to the stave line to insert a note on the line. In the notation window options, the cleft split point asterisk now indicates that C5 with an asterisk is middle C. And the cleft split point can be set with the spin controls. Now you can quickly enter forced accidentals from the notation window right click menu. Previously, this could only be done from the note edit dialog. Now you can use the N key on your keyboard to insert and highlight a note at the current timeline. This allows you to enter a note, change its pitch, and move the timeline without a mouse click. Hit the N key to enter a note at the current timeline. While the note is highlighted, use the up and down cursor keys to change the pitch. Use the right and left cursor keys to move the timeline. Vertical grid lines are now drawn on the track overview. To change the resolution or hide the grid lines, right click on the window and under the grid lines menu, select your desired setting. When the vertical grid lines are drawn and the snap feature is enabled, clicking on the track overview will snap to the grid lines instead of the beats. You can now use the control key to vertically zoom the tracks window. Holding the control key while using the mouse scroll wheel, or holding the control key while pressing the plus and minus buttons on the tracks window toolbar zooms the window in and out vertically. We also have vertical grid lines drawn in the audio edit window now. To change the resolution or hide the grid lines, right click on the window and under the grid lines menu, select your desired setting, same as the tracks window. Now you can reboot the program with the default settings under the Options drop-down menu by selecting Reset to Default Settings. Select Yes and be sure to save before resetting. RealBand now supports drum notation. When the track type is set to drums with the combo box on the notation window toolbar, drum notation will display. In the clef area, you will see a guide telling you what drum notes are used in that line of notation. When the track is set to drums, you can enter drum notation to the track. Right click in the editable or staff roll notation window and use the insert or change drum note menu item. For the drum notes shown on the left in the drum guide, you can also click on the corresponding vertical position of a drum note you want. In the mixer window, Holding down the control key while moving the volume slider with the mouse will increase or decrease the value by one instead of a greater amount. In the chords window, the right click menu now has copy, cut and paste commands. In the event list window, you can now shift click to extend either the start or the end of the selected area. A new filter button displayed by the pound or hashtag symbol is now available in the real tracks picker the Real Drums Picker, and the MIDI Super Tracks Picker, allowing you to filter the list by many ways such as type, feel, time signature, and more. We've added 300 more songs to the song title browser, including requests from users. So now there are over 10,600 titles. We have also added a number of enhancements to the Style Picker this year. If the style list needs to be rebuilt, it tells you that within the Style Picker right here instead of a message that requires a response. While the style list is being rebuilt, 
you can see the progress inside the style picker. Previously, the progress was shown in the yellow flash message at the bottom right of the screen. Now, in addition to that, it will be shown in the progress bar at the top of the style picker. Also, the rebuild is now 75% faster than before. The style list can now be filtered by a specific reel tracks, reel drums, or MIDI super tracks in a certain number range. To use this feature, press the other filter button in the style picker. If you want to find a style that uses reel tracks number 362, for example, select styles that contain specific reel tracks or MIDI super tracks from the menu. When the dialog opens, select 362 and press OK. The list will now be filtered to show styles that contain reel tracks number 362. You can also filter the list by an extra style set. Press the other filter button and select show extra style set only. This will open the choose extra style set filter dialog. The style picker can also list all styles including not available styles in the default display. Previously, you can see all styles including not available styles by enabling the show all styles including not available styles in the other filter button menu. But pressing the clear button reset the list to show only available styles. Now, with the new option, you can see all styles including not available ones even when the filters are cleared. To use this feature, press the action button and select set dialog options. Then, in the style picker options dialog, enable the default display should include all styles available and not available option. Thanks for watching our 2019 Real Band new features overview. Have fun.